Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add a shake effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is gonna be primarily used for text in today's video. However, it would work on any different tracks or effects you have in your Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step -step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So I will mention for today's video, we are gonna be using a free plugin depending on your use case. So this is gonna be from the cinema.com website. Again, links in the description down below. Simply come to this website, click the free download option right here. Select your use case, free or commercial use. Select how much price you want to use. In this case, if it's for a free download, you can simply click zero. Click I want this, enter your email address, click get. Once you've entered your email, you'll be brought to this link. Simply click the download button right here. Select the location where you want to download. In this case, I'm going to be putting it in my downloads folder. Click save and then your download will be added. From this point, I'm going to be moving my file to a location where you can find it easily. In this case, I have it on my desktop and I've simply extracted out the preset file, which is a PRFPSET file. You can see the ultimate earthquake cinema.com here. To install it in Premiere Pro, the first thing you're going to have to do is open it up and have a project open. From this point, we're going to be coming to our effects panel. If you can't find this, you can go to window and click on effects. We're then going to be coming up to the top right of our effects panel and the tab right here. We're going to be clicking the burger menu and we're going to be clicking import presets. Click this option open and then locate to where your preset is. In this case, mine is on my desktop. You can see I have my preset file right here. Simply click open and then your preset file will be added. In this case, from this point, all you need to do is use the search bar right here and search for your effect. If we search earthquake, we can see ultimate earthquake pack right here from cinema.com. And we can see we have a couple different options here with a gentle, heavy, pulsation, lighting, rotation, and zoom shake. If it doesn't show up in your effects panel right away, you may need to restart your Premiere Pro to actually have this open. So the example I'm gonna be using it for in today's video is gonna be on text. However, this will work on any format or any media in Premiere Pro, as long as the keyframes can be added to it. In this case, I have this small piece of text right here that I'm gonna be adding it to. What I'm gonna be doing is selecting any shake or text you would like to add. In this case, I'm just gonna be using the gentle shake. And we're gonna be clicking and dragging and putting it on any clip on your timeline that you wanna add it to. In this case, that's gonna be the text file right here. And you can see right away in the preview, my text is actually shaking. So how this works is just adds a bunch of random keyframes to the track that will automatically generate. So if we come to our effects control panel, simply come up to window and click on effect controls, we can see that this effect is right here and we can see it automatically adds a bunch of keyframes to our actual layer that we added it to, which if we play over, we can see how it looks now. You can see it makes it a lot more dynamic. It makes it actually much funnier depending on the situation you use it in. And it's really easy to do. For anyone that's interested, I will be leaving a link to this final video in the description down below. It's on my second channel, but you can check it out. I'll also leave a card on screen right now. And it's as easy as that to add a shake effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm gonna be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you wanna support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.